bringing old ships to life. In history, Italy made some amazing ships, some amazing ocean liners, revolutionary ocean liners. But sadly, there are some dark moments in our history. For example, World War II. During World War II, some amazing ships of amazing companies were sadly lost. Italy was sadly no exception. And Italy took a heavy blow during World War II, losing some of Italy's most famous ocean liners. In this video, we are gonna cover some of these ocean liners. So, I hope you enjoy. So, our first ship is gonna be the SS Dulio. She was launched on 9 January 1916. And she would begin her service from Italy to America on 23 October 1923 for the Italian General Navigation Company. The 23635 Grosstan ship would be inactive from 1940 and later in 1942 being briefly charted by the International Red Cross and laid up once again in 1943. On July the 10th, 1944, she would be sunk by British aircraft with no lives lost. She was salvaged and scrapped in 1948. Our second ship is the SS Colombo. She was originally launched for the Sicula American Line as the SS San Gennaro in October 1915. In 1921, her name was changed to Colombo after her operators were absorbed into a larger group. Up till this time, the ship hadn't entered commercial service due to the First World War and began service on November the 21st, 1921. This 11 760 cross ton ship would be scuttled on April the 8th, 1941 to avoid capture. She was scrapped in 1949. Our third ship would be the MS Neptunia and she would be launched on December the 27th, 1931 for the Kosulic Trieste Navigation Company. The 19475 Grosstone ship would enter service in December 1932 and later operated for the Combined Italian Fleet Company, or simply known as the Italian Line. In 1940, she was decommissioned and later acquired by the Navy, to be used as a transport from Italy to North Africa. She would be sunk by torpedoes on September the 18th, 1941, by the HMS Upholder. Our fourth ship will be the MS Victoria. And she was a popular Italian vessel of her time. She was launched on December the 6th, 1930 for the Lloyd Triestino Company and began service in June 1931. This 13098 Grosstan ship was revolutionary to Italian shipbuilding, with her plans later influencing liners such as the Bathory and Stockholm. In June 1940, she was used as a transport ship. Sadly, she was sunk on January the 24th. 1942, after being crippled 
and torpedoed by British crafts. Our fifth ship is the MS Orazio. She was launched on October the 31st, 1926, for the Italian General Navigation Company and entered service just a year later. She was a simple passenger vessel, but her sinking would be horrific. On January the 21st, 1940, while on a commercial voyage, the ship caught fire off the French coast. After sending out an SOS, Italian and French Navy ships, the Conte Biancomano and the ill-fated Colombo came to the ship's aid. Unfortunately, due to the poor weather that day, rescue attempts were difficult. After being abandoned, she sank in the early hours of January the 22nd, taking 106 souls. And now for our number 6 ship. Now here's a ship that you may recognize. The SS Conte di Savoia. She was launched on October the 28th, 1931 being one of the largest Italian ships of her time, measuring 48, 502 gross registered tons. Entering service in late November 1932. During the war, the Italians had tried their best to prevent the Conte di Savoia and her fleet mate from being shipwrecks, but in the end had failed. The Savoia was sunk on September the 11th, 1943 and would be raised and salvaged in 1945. Surprisingly, there were talks about rebuilding the ship into a emigrant liner, but when that failed, negotiations to Holland America and the General Transatlantic Company were made, but came up dead. She was sold for scrap in 1950. And now we move on to our next ship, the SS California. Originally launched on April the 17th, 1920, for the Cunard Line as the Albania, and was later sold to Italy in 1930, having been sold again in 1937 to Lloyd Triestino. After Italy entered the war, the ship was requisitioned by the Navy on May the 23rd, 1940. On August the 10th, 1941, she was damaged by torpedo bombers and later grounded and abandoned. Now our next ship is the SS Rex, perhaps the most famous Italian ship besides the Andrea Doria. The Rex was launched on August the 1st, 1931 and would enter service in September 1932, breaking the speed record of the German giants and being the only ship of Italy to break a speed record. Now, during the war, the Rex was not used for any purpose and was kept hidden away, nearly surviving the war, but was bombed on September the 8th, 1944, after being spotted on her tow. She would be dismantled, and the SS Rex is considered to be the greatest loss of the Italian merchant fleet during World War II. Now our next ship is the MS Virgilio, sister ship to the previously mentioned MS Orazio, and she would be launched on November the 13th, 1926, for the Italian General Navigation Company. Now during the war, 
She served as a hospital ship and was later captured by the Germans in 1943 and later damaged by Allied air raids in December later in June 1944. She was scuttled using explosives and later raced and scrapped in 1958. Our next ship is the MS Oceania. She was the sister ship to the MS Neptunia and was launched on August the 29th, 1932, measuring 19,507 gross registered tons. She entered service in July 1933. In June of 1931, the ship was requisitioned as a transport ship alongside her sister ship and both would transport troops between Italy and North Africa. Her service was short and on her 10th trip to Tripoli the ship was sunk by the HMS Upholder on September the 18th. Together the Neptunia and Oceania were transporting five 820 troops and of these 384 died. The next ship is the Saubaudia, a mystery ship of the war. She was launched as the Stockholm on May the 29th 1938 for the Swedish American line but because of a series of unfortunate events the ship was never delivered to the company and was sold to the Italian government in November 1941, immediately being converted into a transport ship. Now her service career in the war is very vague. Some sources say she was used as a transport ship without listing where she steamed to, while many say she was just laid up after the conversion. Now my friend Yumune Skybet, he actually knows quite a bit about the ship and in his, in his opinion he believes that because of the ship's size she wasn't given a suitable role for Italy and was placed in a safe area until the end of the war. Sabaudia was bombed on July the 6th, 1944 and scrapped in 1948. The SS Roma, another ship you may be familiar with, was launched on February the 26th, 1926 for the Italian General Navigation Company, entering service in September. And of the ships mentioned today, she perhaps had the most interesting story. After Italy entered the war, they converted the Roma into the aircraft carrier Aquila and would be refurbished to steam at a speed of 30 knots. The work on the carrier continued for the next two years until the surrender of Italy in 1943, which then was seized by the Germans. After being damaged in June 1944 by the RAF, it was feared that the Germans would use the ship as a blockade to the entrance of Genoa Harbour. Members of a former division partially scuttled the carrier. She was raised in 1946 and towed away and scrapped in the early 50s. The SS Augustus was the sister ship to the SS Roma and the SS Augustus was launched on December the 13th 1926 and entered service on November the 10th. 1927. 
Similarly to her sister, she was also ordered to be converted into a carrier, becoming the Falco, and later renamed to the Spariviero. She was scuttled by a former Italian division in 1944 and was sold for scrap in 1946. The SS Conte Verde was launched for the Lloyd Saubudo Company on October the 21st, 1922 and began her commercial service in April 1923. Before the Italian armistice, the Verde was based in a Japanese-occupied Shanghai. After the armistice, the Verde was scuttled by her crew to avoid capture of their ship, which also prevented Japanese ships from leaving or entering Shanghai until the Verde was raised in 1944. But bombed and sunk by an American craft just weeks after being risen. She was salvaged once more and the Japanese would use the ship as a hospital transport ship, being renamed to Kotobuki Maru and was based in Kyoto. On July the 25th, 1945, Kotobuki was damaged by an air raid and was beached after the war. She was scrapped in 1949. And now, for our final ship on the list, is the SS Conte Rosso, sister ship of the SS Conte Verde. The Conte Rosso was launched on February the 10th, 1921, and began service in May 1922. During the war, the Italian government had used the ship as a transport vessel. On May the 24th, 1941, while making a trip to Tripoli, she was sunk by the vicious HMS Upholder, which costed the lives of 1,291 lives. And that is the end of a video, my friends, and that was a pretty long video. I hope you enjoyed it, though, and thank you very much for joining me uh, and watching this video. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Italian myself, and I'm actually quite proud <laughs> uh, I made this video uh, about Italy's history. Um, let me know in the comments if there were some ships, Italian ships, that you didn't know. Uh, of the Italian fleet and it's quite sad right to think about uh, the devastating devastating blow Italy took with uh, World War II losing some of its most amazing vessels the Conte di Savoia the SS Rex and many others so yeah it's it's quite sad um, but again I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have friends who like ocean liners or ships Please show them my channel. We are now trying to reach the 900 subscribers and we are getting very close, my friends. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please leave them down below. I love reading your comments. It's, it's amazing to, to read them. So with that out of the way, my friends, I wish you a good night or day wherever you are. And we will see each other on the next video. Thank you and goodbye. Follow old shipping lines on social media. Thanks for watching.